What's going on? Welcome back. We're doing a vintage, late night vintage cube. And uh, this fired immediately, so we'll head on over. Head on over. And get this guy up here. This is an interesting pack. Nothing that really blows me away. Jace the Mind Sculptor is a good dude. So is Mox Diamond. There's also Ramunath Excavator and Renin 6. I'm not convinced I want to take either of those over Jace. Or Mox Diamond for that matter. Good grief, man. The funny thing is, Mox Diamond works well with both Ramunap and Renin 6, but you're not going to get all three, that's for sure. I'm going to take Jace and let other people fight over these land pieces. Oh, you can fight over the land pieces yourself. I do like Flesh Gorger a lot. I just I just talked about this, actually. I, have, I put some YouTube videos up uh, recently about my vintage cube and i'm going over my friend's matt my friend matt's vintage cube also known as elk tears so you can check that out on youtube and i have flesh gorger in my cube i think he's a really sweet card could also just be library here it's early enough to take a library and feel okay about it i think could also be Karn. There's also a Water Grave and a Verdant Catacomb. Verdant Catacomb obviously is puts us in Sultai, and that's just cool. I'm gonna take the Verdant Catacomb and assume one of these four cards will come back. Oh, I like a Time Warp. I also like Palantir, and I like a Traxa as well. Oh, I think it's got to be a Traxa here. I would not mind if Gargaroth, Palantir, Time Warp, or Upheaval came back. I guess. Yeah, Traxxas is just super sweet. Could just be four color, no red, you know? That's a good... That's a good combination. Got a Xander's Lounge, which is red. Could take Stoneforge and just kind of... Look for some pieces. Could take Death... And get back a Traxa. Hmm. It's not bad. It does keep us in Sultai. I do like Stoneforge, but we're going to take the death here. Emrakul. What can we do with an Emrakul if we're not red? That does limit our options. Hmm. Yeah, I think the only thing we could have with Emrakul is Channel, and I don't feel like we're heading in that direction, so I'm just going to take the Mystic Confluence and feel good about my choice. Oh, Cruel Ultimatum. Fascinating. Unfortunately, we are non-red. There is an Echo of Eons. That's interesting. Also, a Venser Call of the Ring, which I'm very, very impressed with every time I play it. Oh, what up, Satan? <laughs> See, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, God, Echo seems really good. Do we have any way to get it in the graveyard? I bet we can find ways. Yeah, let's take Echo. We can also, like, this This could be a Leovold deck. We can get a Narset. Um, we could take this Atali. <laughs> I think it's just Toxic Deluge here. It's not Expressive Iteration or Atali because we're not red. I don't think we're Soul Herdering. I think I'd rather just take... I think... I mean, we could take Wall of Roots and then play a turn three Jace, but I think Deluge is probably just going to be way stronger. Love the QVD. is great to understand some base power levels. Yeah, that's... I really appreciate you saying so. And that was just part one, so I'm going to do two more parts on that cube as well. I mean, 
mean, this is a pretty solid first six picks. We would like a land that can be blue or white, probably. Agatha's Soul Cauldron. I'm going to be honest, I still don't completely comprehend what this card does. <sighs> Exile a creature from a graveyard. When a creature card is exiled this way, you put a 1-1 counter on it. Creatures you control with 1-1 encounters have activated abilities of creature cards exiled with it. Okay, so you basically exile a card from a graveyard and you give a creature you control the ability to do that ability yeah i'm just taking ugin oh uh, that's great and all but we're just gonna go with the ugin i'm gonna take her tie here oh flesh gorger and karn came back i want to take the flesh gorger i think if we get a channel this is two great ways to exploit a channel a uh, misery sh actually we're gonna take hollowed fountain because it lets us cast the white part of atraxa and I don't really care about uh, Misery Shadow that much. Thank you. Walladil, what up, my dude? Thank you for the resub, buddy. 111 months is a long time. Wow. That's like a that's like a decade, dude. Good lord, man. I guess we're just taking days here. Seal of removal is not terrible. Uh, we can take days. Oh, shoulder G dicks fine. These are these are solid. Cruel ultimatum. Hmm. Well, I'll take a cruel ultimatum in case we get like a dream halls because we already have a Traxa and Echo of Eons, and those are two very very good dream halls cards. This is also a two drop. We're never. You're never gonna cast that as a thing, you know? Oh, Mox Pearl. Hmm. Fascinating. Maybe we're Esper splashing a green. Hmm. Well, we're definitely taking Mox Pearl, so let's not, let's not beat around the bush here. <sighs> don't make me realize that yeah we've been we've been hanging out for a decade you know via stream at least good times it's the gift that keeps on giving you know this guy's also a three drop most of the time and then you can blink him Oh, I like Snapcaster Mage on the chance that we get Thank you. something worthwhile like a Time Walk or an Ancestral. We did pass Time Warp. Super average. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you. Um, I mean, we also have Lion's Eye Diamond. We only have Echo Beyonds to really go with it. We're not, like, really taking advantage of of anything else. I mean, right now, this can also go back. Toxic Deluge, Shoulder Z-Dick, Days, Death. I think Snapcaster's pretty decent here. Uh, it's an Ephemerate. Oh, it was a fourth Eorlingus. Oh, good gravy. That is a late fourth Eorlingus. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. There's nothing in this pack that's really compelling other than Bloodstained Mire, and I'm just going to take fourth ear lingus and try to play it. I don't... Uh, uh, it's too good. It's too good. It's too good. Uh, there's Flash. And I think the only card worth flashing here is a Traxa. There's also Pest Infestation, which is a beating. There's also Torrential Gear Hulk. And we have Mystic Confluence. Days, Shouldered Edict. It's not a ton. Like, we actually... Mm, fascinating. 
Could be Dark Slick Shores as well, just to have another fixing land, but I... good gravy. I'm just going to take Pest Infestation. It's single green. We're just going to splash a bunch of really powerful cards. Oh, there's a Dream Halls. Oh, boy. These two are not great with Dream Halls, but I think it's probably better than anything else in this pack. I'm going to take the Dream Halls, and we're going to see what happens. Hmm. Don't really love Raging Ravine, I'll be honest. This pack's not great otherwise, though. Could just take Vendillion Click. I don't think we have early enough green to be Sakura Tribe Eldering. Yeah, I'll just take V-Click. I don't love it. Raging Ravine is a red splash and a green splash, which is not terrible, but I really don't think it's going to be great in general. Zagoth Triumph, on the other hand, blue, black, and green. That's kind of perfect. Yeah. All right. Scrubland. Uh, that's really good. We can also get it with a Verdant Catacomb. I do like Chandra, but it's double red. Ledger Shredder is kind of cute, but I don't think we care about it. I'm going to take the Scrubland. It makes our Verdant Catacomb get four colors. Thanks to Triome and Scrubland. Uh, don't care about High Tide. I guess we could take Omnath here. And we could just be five colors. That seems terrible, though. Oh, man. Eating both our splash colors for Omnath does not seem ideal. There's nothing really else in this pack I care about. Waterlog Grove is fine, but I'm really looking for lands I can search for that aren't going to deal me one million damage. I'm going to take the Omnath. Oh, Lion's Eye Diamond came back. Wow. That's fascinating. Hmm. I mean, Lion's Eye into Echo of Eons? Is that, that's a thing for sure. I just don't know if I want a card that I'm only going to play to cast Echo. I think I'll just take Thieving Skydiver and I'll pretend that that's the correct choice. It's probably the correct choice for me as someone who really likes Skydiver and doesn't really care about Lion's Eye Diamond. Because right now I think we're more likely to pitch a Vendillion click to, to cast Echo off of Dream Halls than we are to discard our entire hand. Like, because we don't have a deck that's going to unload our hand very quickly, and then we're going to have one card in a Lion's Eye Diamond, then we play the Lion's Eye Diamond and discard the Echo of Eons, and then draw seven. It's just, that's not really where we're at right now. Lotus Petal is interesting. I'm going to actually take Lotus Petal here over Spire Bluff Canal. I don't think we're a Mox Opal deck, but I kind of wish we were. Interesting. What if we are in the next pack, though? Mm, I'm going to take Necromancy. I think we have a lot of good Necromancy targets, and if we get a way to discard them, that's A-OK. -okay. I'll take Scalord. I think Scalord's very good, and we have a lot of targets for it so far. Uh, we can get back Vendillion Click. Necromancy, and it looks like that might be it. I mean, you can get Snapcaster, but that's not super exciting. All right, Talisman Othari, which I like a lot. Um, it might just be Talisman. I think any blue or black Talisman that's helping us cast our obscure spells is probably pretty good. This card's very, very good. Interesting. This deck is kind of all over the place, but I'm also kind of okay with it. I'm going to take the Talisman and hope the... Oh, wow, they were going to give me the Othari, and hope the Othari comes back. Rafine's Tower seems great. Any land that's blue-black base with a splash color on it seems really, really good for us, especially if Verdant Catacombs can get it. And if either one of these Talismans come back, I'll be thrilled. We also don't have to play Ugin necessarily, so... Oh, Mana Confluence? I don't love Mana Confluence, but I do love being able to cast my spells. So that being said, I'm going to take a Mana Confluence. 
and maybe we find a way to uh to gain some life i guess we have Phyrexian flesh forger and the othari could come back both of those have lifelink so does the tracks that we actually have quite a bit of lifelink creatures and the pests from pest infestation gain life I mean, if we're dream halsing, like inspired cruel inspired ultimatum is really, really sweet. And I do think we're dream halsing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So four cards are coming back. I mean, it's probably gonna be really junk cards, right? I don't I mean if we I'm tempted to take Grim Monolith here, because we do have a lot of cool, expensive cards that we can cast off a of monolith. Including Jace, Urtai, not Urtai maybe, but Mystic Confluence, Dream Halls. We do have Lotus Petal and Mox so far. I'm gonna take the Ultimatum. I think it's just too crucial to our to our game plan. There's a triplicate Titan. If we ended up with um, Flash, but we did not. I don't actually think this Tamiyo is that good. I don't know, maybe that's weird. I might just be thirst here. Oh, Taiga is interesting. We can get it with a Verdant Catacombs. And it does fix for fourth and pest. I'm not actually sure. Magma Opus is not terrible. We already passed um, Torrential Gear Hulk. But this, this can either make a treasure or it can, uh, we can cast it off of Dream Halls very, very easily. Yeah, we're going to take Magma Opus here just because of Dream Halls. And now we're going to take Leovold. All right, that's pretty good. Yep, that's kind of exactly what we wanted, especially with an Echo of Eons. Oh, channel is fascinating. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we're taking it, but geez, that's kind of what we wanted when we had a, uh, when we passed like Emrakul, we got Ugin and we passed an Ulamog as well. That's, fr that's frustrating. It might just be Godless Shrine. Another, it's another black land. I don't think we need a white. I don't think we need another black white land, though. We're only literally splashing for this guy. It might just be Massacre Worm. Okay. Well, I guess we got him. Oh, the Othari came back. All right. Well, yeah, I guess we'll take an Othari. Talisman of Progress. Fantastic. Okay, we need a couple cuts here. <laughs> Uh, Touch the Spirit Realm is very good. It's not only removal, but you can blink like Flesh Gorger, you can blink Vendillion Click, you can bring, blink Snapcaster to get the extra value off of them. Teferi came back. That's actually playable. I don't know if we're necromancing. We don't really have many ways to discard things. So instead of like necromancy and life death we could actually just be dream halsing oh there's another way to discard things and we also have um thirst and now we have Rona. last pick rona that's really good oh boy Yeah, what did I take over Godless Shrine? I mean, white sources, we still have Mox Pearl, Vern Catacomb, Scrubland. Oh, Massacre Worm. Mm, interesting. We have Rafine's Tower Man. We actually have quite a few white sources in the sideboard. In the, in the main deck, rather. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is six white sources. This is 25 cards. We have two Talismans. Thank you. Oh, MTG Pyro. What up, my dude? Welcome back. Appreciate you. Hmm. I think we can cut days. I just don't really care about days. Omnath might be worth playing here. 
you're more of a three drop. I never want to cast you for two. I don't care about Vendillion click, really. Like thirst is just good to help us hit the big pieces. Man, this is a this is a wild. We can also just discard like expensive cards to thirst if we need to. I don't really want to discard two expensive cards for a thirst though. This would be a sweet Mizzix mastery deck though. Double ultimatum and magma opus. Yeah, this lets us keep Rona too. We might just want necromancy and and death. Because now we have Rona and Thirst. And we can play Collector Brutality. I think we can play Brutality over Shieldred's Edict. But like pitching Atraxa or Flesh Gorger, I guess that's those are the only two we have though. It's not a ton of it's not a ton of value. It is nice to just have a necromancy, though. I mean, Brutality might just be better than Shoulders Edict anyway. Oh, we also have Lotus Petal, which I don't know if I want to play as a land. <sighs> tricky, tricky. Also, only getting one fetch land is a little rough. Two triomes, though, so that's pretty good. Oh, we can also pitch Echo of Eons to either Collector Brutality or Thirst, so that's not terrible. Yeah, this seems fine for 23. Do we play Lotus Petal? That's the question. We could just play 24 with a Lotus Petal. It's like adding an extra land, you know? Hmm. So I'm just wondering, like, our protection for Dream Halls. Like, we can go Vendillion click, see what they have, and then cast Dream Halls. Make sure they can't counter it. I also like Scale Lord Touch and Soul Herder. <laughs> Touch and Soul Herder both blink Flesh Gorger and Atraxa really, really well. I think I might want to add Touch instead of Brutality. Plus, it, it just protects one of your creatures as well. Yeah, all right. We'll play it like this. Sort by color. Good lord. Okay, these are going to be red cards. This is black, blue. Oh my god, there's so many things happening. Okay. Anyway. Lands. It's just a little smaller. So white sources, we have six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have what? We need how many sources? One, two, we need four white sources. That's, plus we have a talisman as well. That seems fine. Seven white sources. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five. I would add, I would start with three. Black sources. Boop, boop. We have. Actually, I actually have very little black as well. That's interesting. Basically, Flesh Gorger, Toxic Deluge, and Urtai. So that's kind of a splash as well. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five. Let's say seven. Uh, red sources. One, two, Mm, Verdant does not get a red source. I wish we had a, a stomping ground. Uh, so one, two, 
just two. I'll add one for three and assume that's going to be enough. It might be just two. It might be two. <clears throat> and then we have green sources. One, two, three, four, five. And this is what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We get one more. It's, I think it's just another blue. Does that feel correct? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that seems correct. All right, let's sort by mana value and clip this bad boy so I know what I'm looking at. I definitely don't want three mountains. The, the last thing I want to do is draw multiple mountains. Like, I want to hit a mountain, but any mountain over the first is just terrible. Plus, like, our red cards are five drop, eight drop, X drop. So it's not really super... It's not really super early. And I don't want to have an opening hand with, like, mountain, mountain, swamp or something. So there's a lot of directions we could have taken this. I think Death, Necromancy, Soul Herder, Omnath, Guardian, Scale Lord, Shoulder Edict, Collector, Brutality, Vendillion, Collect. These are all fine options. Lotus Petal. Uh, we're never casting Ultimatums. We're casting Dream Halls. And if we end up having to cast Ultimatums, we're just going to discard them. <laughs> with, like, Rona or Thirst for Discovery or something. So... Leovold, thank you for the two years, buddy. Really appreciate it. And that's why you're in the deck for your two-year two year anniversary. <laughs> oh, good times. I will play first. Just try and stop me. Man, my kingdom for a ponder or a preordain. I think I have to ship this hand. It just doesn't do anything. This is much better. We'll pitch this guy. Yeah, this is really good. Oh, we both went to six. That makes me feel better. I feel better. Yeah, this is essentially turn two, turn three, turn four stuff, so. Assuming that they have an artifact and assuming that we hit a uh, another blue source, you know? That is a blue source. It is also a white source and a black source. Yeah, Rona's great. It's a very, very solid looter. Ooh, they took two. Fascinating. Okay, well, that's another blue source. Skydiver has no targets. So we're going to draw Flesh Gorgy. Yep, I'm just going to pass. <laughs> Hopefully they took two for nothing. They did not. They did. They just, They did. They took two for nothing. Hmm. Well, I'm fascinated. What are the odds they have a counter spell? Is it 4 million percent? Is that the percentage? What are you asking? Why did they why did they do what? I think we're just going to play Flesh Gorger here. Let's Rona first. Well, they took two because they have two mana up so they can counter something. So I assume they have Mana Drain or Remand or Mana Leak or some counter spell. That's why, that's why you do that. Typically. Um, if they have Mana Drain, <laughs> Flesh Gorger is looking real rough. Fascinating. I am fascinated and frustrated. 
I don't really want to just run a flesh gorger into whatever they may do. That's an easy discard. I'm just going to play a land and pass here and then we'll make a treasure with magma opus and like next turn we can flip Rona. I don't know. Maybe that's a thing to do. Mox Pearl. And they're just going to Venser this, I bet. They're going to be like, Venser! I'm be like, oh, no! Cryptic Command. Well, that could have been worse. Okay, um, so you got five mana, huh? One, two, so we can go black, black. We can't cast both. Black, black, this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we can just cast that guy, hard cast that guy next turn. I think we just play Skydiver for zero here and just get some bodies on the board. I don't really want to throw this into a Mana Drain. I think that's pretty bad for us. And I'm just assuming they have Mana Drain. But if they ever want to tap out for anything, that's okay with Father. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah, let's pitch Fleshy Boy. If they want to counter Leovold, we can play Jace. Counterspell. You got it. Uh, one, two, three, four. We're not pitching fourth Eurolingus, so. See if they got two counterspells. They did not. So we're going to bounce here to Little Bird. Okay, they didn't have a counter spell here, so that's good. Fourth Year Lingus looking, looking pretty juicy. And they had nothing at instant speed. That's making me feel A-OK. -okay. That guy, you got it. <laughs> you got it, Little Bird. You got it. Bounce the Rona? Sure. What can we get here that's any good? It's probably just Scrubby Bubbies, right? Yeah, this is correct. Uh, Dunzo... Two at Jace, the rest at your face. Uh, attack you, attack you, attack you, attack Jace, attack. Oh god, what happened? Attack you, attack you. One at Jace, uh, two at Jace, three at your beautiful brain. And it's all you, my friend. Yeah, fourth of your lingus is a broken magic card, that's for sure. <clears throat> I will definitely block Ledger Shredder if you allow me. Uh, looks like you're not going to allow me, but that's okay, because we have... Oh, you are going to allow me. 
Sure. I was I thought they were going to bounce this guy to get in there, but then I guess we have five tokens, and that's probably not great for them at eleven. Who knows? Are they looking for a wrath effect? Well, I got two mana. So the question is, what can they do with two mana against this board? And if we have any way to get rid of this guy, then we have lethal, so. You got it. Ha! Huh. Well, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, four, five. I too have a Teferi. Where's my, why is the Teferi all the way over there? I would love to be able to see Teferi. There's no settled wreckage in the queue, so I'm not super concerned with that. Sure. Oh, what up, Bort? <laughs> my son is also named Bort. Shark Typhoon making a 2-2. A 1-1. One, one. Oh, man, this is... This is what you gotta do, you know? Oh, they didn't... They chose not to block. And go to 1. I don't know why my things aren't showing up. This is not good. I think we're just going to pass. I'd like to have a card to to discard with Arona. I really don't like my cards going over the edge, though. Here, It's not enjoyable. Yep, you got it. Teferi hath died. I assume you're going to wrath the board here? No, you're definitely not going to wrath. You got it. It's interesting that you're doing all this bef like after you activated Teferi. Because you could have connived like a land off the top and then Teferi'd. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> right. Seems good. Also, this is fourth year Lingus again. So that's cool. One, two, one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So another fourth for four. Fourth for four, you know. I invested in a grep of water seasonings. A whole grep. That's not English. So we know they have cryptic command and counterspell. So I definitely want to bring in brutality and daze here. They also don't have enough creatures that Shieldred's Edict is not going to be good against them. I think it will be good against them. We can take out touch. You got the touch. Uh, I didn't see anything for Thieving Skydiver. So that's fine. Enjoys some water seasoning. What is he fucking saying right now? Toxic Deluge also seems bad. Uh, this seems pretty good in terms of cuts and changes and things. Ugh. No black source, but I think it's probably fine anyway. We have three colors. Lots of things to do. You got the power! I will keep. <laughs> Big money grip. <laughs> See, that's funny. That's a solid reference right there. He referenced he referenced his own name. A grip of Calvin. What is he even saying? Oh, we might have been able to take this out too. I think I just didn't see it. I didn't see it because it was all the way on the right, you know? However, if they play uh, an artifact, I'll be, I'll be on board. Oh, there's a that's a butte. Water seasonings are things like Mio. Fascinating. Well then. What are you doing here? I'm gonna make a one-one. 
You got it. Is Kool-Aid wa I'm a water seasoning. Can you milk me, Greg? Do you think they have cryptic command, guys? Thirst for discovery. I do like that. And I like having Urtai as well. Oh, you're just going to cast the subtlety? Oh, I don't even have black. Whoops, my bad. We'll thirst here, I think. Come on, multiple basic lands. Yeah, I think that's why they're called seas, because they're short for seasoned watering. Watering? Water? <laughs> uh, oh, is this two cards or one card? We do have a black now. We also have a white, which is just fantastic. I do not think I want to discard a black. I think I want to get rid of Pest and probably Rona. But next turn, what's our plan? We could play we can play Collective Brutality and play Rona. I think it's Pest and <sighs> Hmm. I has a frustrate. I want the two lands. I want the Rona, I want the fourth, and I want everything over here. Is that greedy? Probably. It's two cards. It's Pest Infestation and it's one other card. It might be Urtai. We get to keep up Mystic Confluence next turn. Ah, oh, yes. Pest and Grep. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> oh, God. Um, mm, my hand is good. Yet expensive. I'll get rid of Urtai. <sighs> Disappointing. And they're just on the, we're going to pass forever train, so that's fine. Uh, you. Sure. <laughs> oh, how nice. You got it. Man, where's Toxic Deluge now, am I right? Okay. Well, it's good use of Snapcaster Mage, I guess. Might bring in Toxic Deluge, take out Pest Infestation. That seems like the correct choice. Mana Confluence. I think we're just going to go to the next game here. I don't think we have a hand. If they have a counter spell, we're taking a million. So, yeah, we'll just bring in Toxic Deluge again. Where's the Dream Halls when you need it, you know? Oh, no. Oh, no. Take you out. Oof. I almost forgot to take the card out. It's 11.30. It's it's 11.16 at night. You know, it's rough. I wonder if we can do with one fewer forests as well. One, two. It's only th four green sources. 
It's not great for Leovold, but I do think it's probably best for the other cards in our deck. How many black sources is this now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is a lot, but we added Collective and Shieldred, and we have Toxic, Leovold, Urtai. So we, we did go up in quantity. This guy's also double black if we cast him on three. Cruel made him also wants triple black, so I think it's defensible. I could also see adding just Lotus Petal as like an accelerator, but... It's not a great... Actually, you know what? I'm playing 41 with Lotus Pell. I was going to say it's not great in the late game, but we have so many cards that need very specific colorations that I think it's actually fine. I'll keep this hand. I think we have two three drops adjacent to Dream Halls, and I think, I think we could do some stuff. We also have two zero mana cards that will accelerate us into a flesh gorgy. Sure. We have one zero mana card. Mox Pearl's not necessarily going to do it. I will take a Lotus Petal for a flesh gorger next turn, though. Solid. That's gonna that's gonna do it. That's gonna get the job done. I feel like this is a deck that really wants a we also haven't drawn any of our talismans, he said. Speak of the devil. Now they're gonna counter it. Couldn't have been last turn. Fantastic. It's always you're always so far away from having a chance. It's always so close, yet not even remotely close at the same time, so. Yep, cool. <laughs> it's never, it just never gets old. Yep, fantastic. You've, force of negation hit, wonderful. Yeah, you're not a scum lord at all. Oh, good times. Hey, look at that. We're living the dream. The dream, unfortunately, does not cost three mana. I will make a shark token as a 2-2, you see. Oh, I'm just gonna just gonna play the draw and pass game, eh? Hmm. Okay. Well, eight cards in hand, huh? Let's discard Echo of Eons. Cast well with Dream Halls. Inspired? I mean, if you're saying Inspired Ultimatum, yes, that is the point. All right. You got it. Let's go. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. Would you like to do that, little, little sir? Little friendo? Collective Brutality. Let's reveal the cards in your hand, good sir. Remember when I had lands in my deck? 17 mana and a Lotus Petal. We have missed four land drops. Solid. I'm gonna crack my flooded strand in response so that I may cryptic command your spell. <laughs> Snapcaster, getting back. Reprieve. You don't have the mana for a brain. <laughs> okay. Solid. Solid choice. Yep, that's good. Were you just showing it to me, or...? I'm not sure I understand the strategy behind this one. Okie dokie. You're getting back Force of Negation. Now what? Okay, nothing? So, you have Hollowed Fountain and Subtlety. Great to know. Feeling comfortable if I draw a land. <laughs> You can draw lands unless you draw... You can't draw lands unless you draw all lands, as I, I would assume you're, you're getting at here. All right. 
Well, you lured your fucking counter spell. Amazing. Lucky, 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 lucky. They couldn't have tapped their mana any faster. <laughs> They're like, oh, oh. Oh, fucking amazing. <laughs> yep. Well, Toxic Deluge is good now because they have no cards in hand. And unless they draw Spell Pierce, you think they're going to draw Spell Pierce, boys and girls? Give me a Triome. Oh, that's even, that's amazing. Sure. This is great. One, two, three. Fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. Now now we're in a commanding position if we draw one land. There it is. Okay. Let's cast by discarding a card. Target player gains five. I'll choose myself. Deals five. Choose you. Pitch. I think we pitch Othari here. It makes me sad, but if we get Cruel Ultimated, we can just get it back. Fantastic. Um, we can play a Mox Pearl. We can pitch a Snapcaster to play a Jace. Oh, we just won the match. <laughs> fantastic. That's fantastic. <laughs> dream halls ladies and gentlemen dream halls that's the that's the that's the stuff right there my dude man it's a lot easier to win when your opponents don't have as many cards in their hand they don't draw all counter spells and um you do hit land drops once those things are accomplished it's just gravy at that point you know all right Time for round two. Let's see if we can actually not draw any lands whatsoever. <laughs> One land in this hand would have been gangbusters. I'll keep this. We'll pitch this stupid thing and we'll be done. So next turn we can go black into Rona. We need a second blue source. Black into Rona. Ooh. Don't have anything to kill Arona, though. A lot of things deal two. Chain Lightning deals three, so they might have a Chain Lightning that they're going to use. They didn't have that. Good for them, you know? Let's draw a card. Oh, Hollowed Fountain. Fancy. We don't need Forest anymore. We do want a second blue for Jace. We could have played Raging Ravine and then just played this untapped. But I don't know how great that is when they're playing red. Double Island. Oh, Double Island Plains. Fudge. That's a card, all right. Scrubble Bubbles. We can get rid of Swamp in that case. Now we can play this. And... Play JC McMacy. Untap that beautiful lady. And we'll draw three here. Oh, fourth Eeyore Lingus. Okay, so next turn we're going to play... Let's just put the two Shut fives up, take my back. Money. Oh, Water Seasonings underscore com. Frank was brought to you by waterseasonings.com. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I appreciated Water Seasonings. Man, what a great sponsorship. Now the Frank Lepore stream is brought to you by waterseasonings.com. Get all your water seasonings at waterseasonings.com. Congrats on nailing the sponsorship. Yeah, man. It's wild. What a what a time to be alive, you know? What are they gonna play here, you think? Is it gonna suck? Is it gonna be cool? It's gonna suck, but it's totally fine. We're going to fourth in like two turns. So we're going to draw Mystic Confluence. And then we have a Teferi under that. Does that mean we want to... I 
I mean, we could just play Teferi next turn, actually. <clears throat> but then we don't get fourth Irolingus in like two turns. I think we have to pitch Island here. We have plenty of blue sources. And draw Teferi. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's this plus this. And then next turn, we're just setting up for the fourth. Happy fourth. So we're giving them a turn. Don't love it. But I think I can live with it. I think we can easily discard a Teferi too if we want to loot at the, at the end of the turn. I feel like having fourth here with them having sulfuric vortex is probably good. Sell us conscripts. Interesting. You take a Rona. Yeah, we'll get rid of big Tefs here. So what is this, three, four, five damage? That seems fine. Is gravy meal water? <laughs> Meat water? <laughs> this is a Christ. What if it's mushroom gravy? Then what is it? What do you call that? Smart guy. Oh, I don't... Oh, we can kill both of these with a pest infestation. Oh, boy. I like that. One, two, one, two. So we can we can deal 11 damage here and then put them to... I think we're just keeping Rona back and doing this for like a bajillion. And then just hoping we survive. Because keeping... They're, they're on like a two-turn clock with Sulfuric Vortex. Odysseus, what up, my dude? Welcome back. Really appreciate the resub. 17 months actually seems low. It feels like it's much higher than that. I think that's just because you've donated 400 subs, so. What are you thinking about here, you think? I'm also just wondering if I attack with, like, four guys, keep two back just in case. Like, if they go fourth, they're making four guys. We block this and another one. We take six, seven, and we die. So, we're just hoping they don't have it, I guess. They also have to have a land as well. So, we'll just do eight damage to you. Put you to six. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, if we survive this turn, I, we're just... This game's just over. Okay, they're just cracking the clue. Yeah, that's the end. All right, cool. He said confidently. Fascinating. I mean, there's just no... There's no world run up blocking... Like, if we don't block and we just take, like, three, we go to six, then we go to four in our upkeep, Fire Blast kills us. If we even take one, we go to seven, and then we go to six, and if they have any Burn Spell and Fire Blast, we're just dead. Like, if they have Burst Lightning, Fire Blast, right? That's six damage, and two from this, so, like, being at nine is actually pretty relevant. I like Collective Brutality here. It's Battlefield... Gain four life. I think Omnath might be worth it here just because of the life gain. <sighs> I didn't see anything for Thieving Skydiver. I don't think touch is worth the, the, the mana investment. I don't know if Toxic Deluge is good enough. We didn't really see enough for it. I think we're taking out Toxic for like a Shieldred's Edict. 
yeah, this seems good. Pest infestation's nice because you can just make a bunch of tokens with it, even if, like, you don't have any targets. Wow, two hands with no lands. That's wild. All right, we'll keep this guy, I guess. Um, I think we can probably pitch Dream Halls here. If we have five, we're just going to play, like, Othari. And any green or black source is great because then we can play Flesh Gorger. Oh, how nice. I don't know what that's like. All right, you got it. Interesting. Wow, fourth for one. They did have it. I assume that's one of the main reasons you splash white in your in your red red white deck, but yeah, I guess we're just taking other five. This is a good good opening from them. Good opening, buddy. Yep. Yeah. I feel like I don't gorge that much flesh on stream. I don't even think I've gorged any flesh in this entire draft either. I think my flesh gorging is actually at zero currently. Oh, wow. Sure. Yep, definitely bringing Deluge back in. Okay, we're just going to go to the next game here. Actually, maybe Flesh Gorger is good enough here. I don't know if it is, but we're going to try it. It gains life. They only have three cards. We have a Ragavan and a Human Knight that we can block. I really don't like how the artist just blocked out on it. Okay, sure, you got it. Yeah, all right, cool. Yep, that'll do. Okay, so let's take out, let's bring in Deluge again. We'll take out probably, uh, I don't want to take out Dream Halls because we have a bunch of good shit for it. I think we just take out um, Echo of Eons. We don't really want them filling their hand. I'll bring in this Lotus Petal too because I'm just actually a maniac. Absolute maniac. If I draw that in place of any land in an opening hand, I'm just fine with it. This seems fine. Oh, that's good. Jeez. Um. Yeah, okay. Play a land. Play a Mox Pearl. No, we can still hold another Pearl. I mean, if we get one more land, we can just play Dream Halls. That's really good. Oh, they're not going to play anything. I'm okay with that. That's a land. So play this tapped. Keep up Edict. Next turn, we can Dream Halls. Pitching something for Atraxa and then kind of go off from there, possibly. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. Uh, cast this guy. Cast this guy. Dream Halls for blue, blue, one, two, three. Uh, let's cast... Atraxa. Pitch a Shieldred's Edict. Okie dokie. So, Artifact will get Lotus Petal. Uh, oh, this is... Oh, we just win the match. <laughs> okay. That'll do it. I can Dream Halls, dude. What a card. Yeah, so... We could have gotten... Mystic Confluence is instant. Pest Infestation is sorcery. Uh, land, Lotus Petal. One of these two creatures, <clears throat> which would have let us cast either Teferi um, or Collective Brutality. We can actually pitch like Confluence to play Teferi. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how it would have worked actually, but I mean, it's it's pretty good, right? We, and we have a 7-7 seven, seven in play. So, we, you know, you sometimes just win the game with the Dream Halls. So that's cool. Dream Halls is one of the cards I've been most impressed with. 
as a cube edition and i instantly picked one up for my own cube as soon as i saw like the results of it and it's a five man enchantment and you really have to build around it with a bunch of junk cards in your deck like ultimatums and magma opus and stuff which cards those are cards i love don't get me wrong but i i accept that they're not the most competitive cards like it's unlikely the winning decks are putting uh inspired ultimatum in their deck if they're not cheating it into play so you know oh boy um yeah i actually like this hand a lot it has all of our colors it has a turn two talisman oh okay Mox turn two ta two two talismans. Okay. We 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 tried to engorge some tried to uh, I said engorge. That's not that's worse. We tried to gorge some flesh, but then it, it was not it was not meant to be. I think we're just gonna lead with talisman of progress because I don't mind if this one gets destroyed. This is our only red source, and we already have Sure, that's that's fine. Oh, Rafine's Tower. So now you have access to four colors. I am intrigued. Oh, that guy's a pest infestation target if I ever saw one. So we can actually go talisman into pest infestation and kill your courser. I like that. You got a trophy on top. Um, this, one, two, this, pest, done, one, two, three, dunzo, get him. <clears throat> and now we have six mana next turn. I accept. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Beautiful. What a beautiful gentleman. Gain your three. Scrubbing bubbles. I'm tempted to just play Urtai Resurrect, or uh, to play Dream Halls here, and we can Thirst for Discovery off of Urtai and hit three other cards. They have to be two good cards. They have to be one card, one good card, and one card that shares a color with it. I think we just pass and keep up Urtai. That feels correct. This guy does have Trample, though, which is kind of a pain in the ass. I really don't want them to make a 4-4 four, four and uh, draw a card. I think we'll just take 5 here. Yeah, we'll just take five and EOT Thirst and see what we hit. Yeah, that's totally fine. Um, one, two, three. No. Three. Oh, immediate. Uh, basic land. Mountain. Beautiful. That's that's the ticket. <laughs> Good lord, what do we do? If we play Dream Halls, we can actually pitch Urtai or Fourth Eerlingus. Yeah, we're just pitching Urtai to Cruel Ultimatum here. Um, so we can go one, two, three. Uh, we're gonna have to pay life for actually. Yeah, we're just gonna have to pay life anyway, so we might as well keep up talismans. And we've retained priority, so there's no way they can Assassin's Trophy this in response. Uh, we're going to cast by discarding a card that shares a color. Choose target opponent. You will pitch Air Tie. And we get Air Tie back because he's a creature. And if they Assassin's Trophy this, like if we don't, if we don't want to counter it, like they just lose their whole hand. Or if they don't want to cast it, rather. If they do want to cast, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. 
if they assassins trophy this, they still have to discard three cards, so they have no hand, and we're drawing three. I don't think the elephant they make, or the rhino they make. Oh, they dis they pitched assassins trophy. That's fascinating. Um, so we get to just keep up Mystic Confluence and Urtai. And then next turn we get to fourth Eurolingus. Okay. We could also just bounce this guy now too, because they just have no way to really do anything about that. Um, yeah, I think we're just way ahead right now. I wish we had one more mana that we can cast Leovold, but I don't think it really makes a difference when we have Mystic Confluence in hand. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. We didn't win the game that turn, but they have two cards and we have Mystic Confluence, so I'm not really super concerned with it. They just pitched natural order? Yeah, sure, we're just countering that. Uh, cast by discarding a card. Counter, counter, draw. Choose target spell, you and you. We're going to pitch Leovold here. They have no cards in hand. They have no cards. It's going to, it's, you're going to have to pay twice. Okay. <laughs> Oh, snap! <laughs> oh, yeah, we're definitely discarding. We're doing this. Uh, cast by discarding card that shows a color. Uh, divide four damage. Just going to your face. You and you. Done. Discard Urtai. Feel like I've seen this episode. Yeah, this is just the end. This is the end, my only friend, the end. I do not know why my lands are getting trapped under the side here. Okay. <laughs> Our deck is sweet. Boy, oh boy, we're having a good time. All right, so we have one more match. They have a bunch of big fat idiots. Days feels good. Collective Brutality feels good for their mana dorks. Yeah, we give them the Lingus every time, you know? All right, so the stream froze. OBS froze, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. I'm going to keep this because I think Toxic Deluge is probably very, very good against them. Ha! Oh. <laughs> Okie dokie. Turn one Lotus into Liliana. All right, well, that's pretty good. That is hard to deal with. Oh my God, Kerwit, you have to, you have to take it easy, buddy. Uh, there are no, there's no chat present. That's not it. Okay, there we go. You did not miss the boxes. No, I will let you guys know when I open the boxes. Please take it easy. It is it is as actually becoming actively stressful because I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me to open boxes. Uh yeah. All right. So Hmm. I'm not sure how we deal with a Liliana, I'll be honest. They have like three turns to... So they're at six, we get a turn. They go to seven, we get a turn. We have two, two, two draw steps to deal with this, and I don't think we have very many answers. Fourth Eurolingus would be great. Well, that helps if we get the, the Lingus. Just give me that Lingus, you know what I mean? Where my Lingus is at. They also have a bunch of cards. I'm going to cast this now. 
they have a lot of blue mana this game, which they did not have previously. Uh, Augur and Courser. Okay, so if we end up losing to this Liliana ultimating, I'm going to be very upset. Eorlingus off the top. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll have six mana next turn. What can we do with that? Okay, Primeval Titan's good. They played. they played a land, then they played Courser? I guess they only had one green. Sure. Fuck, dude. <sighs> I can't I can't beat that. We're just literally losing because they got a turn one Lilian off a of Lotus. That's really the only thing that's happening. It could contain a profound sense of well-being. That would be amazing if it did. I hope it does have that. Ugh, God. Why can't this hit Planeswalkers? Yep, we're just going to concede because they just ultimate next turn. That wouldn't have done it. All right, well, that was a game, I guess. Do we have any... Uh, we'll bring an Edict, actually. Edict seems fantastic. I didn't think it was great at first because they had a lot of creatures, but I guess if we're killing a Planeswalker with it, that's just fine. I also didn't see a ton of... Like, they just haven't had a ton of creatures for damage, so maybe that's just, like, worse. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. We got black, green, and a blue. Yeah, we'll tower here. Interesting. Look at that little guy. Probably just gonna cat just snap kill that that idiot. <sighs> I have not seen any other spells, but I'm still going to kill it and look at their hand because we can easily pitch an island here. Oh, and we get a Terra Sunder out of it. Beautiful. All right, so you got Necromancy, Titan, and Rex Sage. None of those really do much against us. If we can top deck a green source that comes into play untapped. That's not a green source that comes into play untapped. But that's good against Necromancy. What land do they play? Swamp? And now other forest? Sure. Oh, geez. I feel like that's that's what we're doing here. Uh, one, two, three, four. This beautiful gentleman. Draw three cards. Um, let's put two ultimatums back. <laughs> Keep up a daze. Oh, did they not hit a fourth land? So they're just running out of Rex Sage? That's pretty fine. They hit a land. And they ran out the Rex Sage anyway. Hmm. Well, if we can hit land Dream Halls, which is impossible because we know one of the. Actually, it's not. We can hit land Dream Hall. Ooh, land Mystic Confluence. That's good. Hmm. I'm. Hmm. I think we're just Leovolding here. I don't think they're going to have a way to... They have two cards. Maybe they have three. Who knows? We could Snapcaster, Collective, kill this guy and look at their hand again. I guess if they have a way to kill Leovold... I think we're just playing Leovold. We get to draw a card. Jace doesn't die. Leovold feels correct here. We also get to keep up days, so... Yeah, that feels that feels safe. I feel like I'm starting to become the Dream Hall's fourth Eorlingus guy. Oh well. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> Lily? Nice. Okay, so we still know two of the three cards in your hand. Oh, they're going to Assassin's Trophy. We get to draw a card and daze it. Oh, Dismember is even better. Draw a card. Yes. Cast. Hard cast daze. Beautiful. Go away. Go away. 
So now we know the exact two cards in your hand. Wonderful. Just give me that sweet dream hauls. That sweet dream haul and oats. Uh, draw three. Okay. Well, another fascinating selection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. So they're very far from Titan of Industry, and I think if we play Gorger, I don't really care about Liliana that much. So another exact hand, and they're drawing Liliana. Yeah, I'm just going to keep up Mystic Confluence for that, and I think this turn we're just going to go for Big Fat Idiot. So they draw Liliana. They can't even play Liliana, actually, because they don't have a second black. So I think this is probably going to just absolutely destroy them. And it's got lifelink. Come on. Just Vampire Nighthawk. Except you can play it as a 7-5 instead of a 2-3. So you know they have Necromancy and... Oh, they're gonna they're gonna get this guy in the graveyard to try to kill F Flesh Gorger. <laughs> that would have been smart. I don't know why they, they actually should have done that because they literally have no other plays this turn. We're just gonna keep jacing because we know there's a, an ultimatum and two other cards on the top. And if it's ever a dream halls, buddy. You better believe we're getting getting frisky. I think we actually should have killed Pest Infestation there. Or killed Corsair Prefix. Unless they want to double block, which is fine by me. They did not. So their hand is Liliana, Necromancy, Titan, and they're going to get, they're going to get Recurring Nightmare. So if we actually Pest Infestation, we can't keep up anything to, uh, I don't know what's going on here, but this is like, this is like really weird. I'm actually going to send this to Ryan. Because like, it's, it seems like it's a, definitely a bug that's uh, not new. <laughs> That, like, what my lands were, like, going off the side recently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So we can actually play Rona and keep up Mystic Confluence. And I think that's totally fine. We did sleep on Dream Halls, but it does have Dream in the name. Everything you're saying is accurate, so. Bravo. Okay, so they have an Assassin's Trophy now. I'll say Ass Troph. Those lands are taking a little nap under the covers. <laughs> what a bunch of little sweeties. Yeah, I mean, we have Mystic Confluence. Feels like the game's kind of over. Oh, we don't know everything. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Wreck Nightmare. Okay, so they have Liliana, Recurring Nightmare, Necromancy, and uh, Titan of Industry in hand. Fascinating. Well, we'll definitely block one guy with multiple things. And then if you want to get this guy back, that's fine. Jace can go to one. That doesn't really affect his livelihood. Okay. I mean, you can play Recurring Nightmare, sack this guy to get back Corsair, but that ain't going to do it. Because then we just kill you. One, two, three. One, two, three. If we hit any land, then we just get to go Rona. Flip Rona. 
yeah, this is the, this is just the game. We can just counter this. Uh, draw two. And three zero. Oh, what a sweet little trophy with a little Dream Halls deck that we that we spiced up. I worked in his Dream Halls once. Men's Dream Hall. I was a greeter. Welcome to Dream Halls. We have a special on Slacks today. Okay. That's fascinating. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on Twitch, on YouTube, wherever wherever you're watching this. Check me out on the other place. And then subscribe there. And uh, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time.